Once again, Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission. We got one half of our uh, soup and dumplings uh, done, and now it's time for the other half. And this is a fun half, Charlene. It is, because we're going to do those dumplings, but look at that. Doesn't that smell good? It's that been sage smelling fantastic. That sage makes a, just such a nice addition to our soup, and we've got it boiling there. See all those bubbles? That's what we want to cook those dumplings. So. Now it's time to make the dumplings, right? Sure. We have one third cup of our soy flour blend in here. Okay. And if they need that recipe, it's on our website, but in your flour canister, put seven cups of all-purpose flour to one cup of soy flour. That's your blend. Blend that, mm -hmm. okay. blend that together, and you can use that for all your baking. Big time. Just all put right. It in a so big now, canister. That's right. Okay. So now you can add our cornmeal. This is yellow cornmeal I'm using today, and that's one third cup. Add it in here. Uh huh. Okay. And then we have a teaspoon of baking powder. That's our leavening. So we'll add that. That's your what? The leavening. That's what's going to make them light and fluffy. Oh. Because you don't want heavy dumplings, do you? Ah, uh, certainly not. <laughs> and now we are adding one egg. Okay. There we go and a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and then a fourth of a cup of our soy beverage, and that's just regular, not sweetened or anything, and that's all there is to it. Okay. Now, how easy is that? Yeah, it looks pretty easy. You can do this. If you can measure, then you can do this. So now we're just mix that up, and then all we're gonna do, I'm gonna get a tablespoon over here that I've got, is just take this and drop it by tablespoon. It's gonna make eight of them. And we'll just go around the sides here and put our dumplings in. So a serving is our soup. This will serve four people and it makes eight dumplings. So eight, each person will get two dumplings in their bowl of soup. Perfect. Is this kind of how you make like Corn, cornbread? Kind of, yeah. yeah because um, you're going to put that, um, you would put that in the oven. But what we're doing here, Shane, and why we want to make sure that that's boiling and bubbling is that's going to cook the bottom of it. Now we're going to put this on the top and we're going to continue cooking for 15 minutes. Okay. And that will cook the dumplings all the way through and we'll be ready to serve okay, it. Okay, important to cover it then. Important to cover it. Okay. Because that puts that heat down in it and cooks the top of our dumplings. Nice. And there's our finished product that we have over there. And it turns out just fantastic. It really does. It's been smelling great and it looks great. and. It's just got that down-home comfort feel to it, so it's very, very nice. And it's all ingredients that you probably have in your pantry. Sure. And when you have that uh, chicken on the weekend, um, you can use that, cut that up, and then put, if you have any leftover, put it in the freezer and you'll have it ready to make. Yeah. We're at 11 o'clock, we're gonna make the dessert that goes with this. It's an apple cherry crisp that we're doing in the iron skillet, and we're gonna put that in the oven so we have more goodness from that oven. <laughs> nice, okay, and that's uh, some whipped cream on the top. You know there's some, some dessert coming your way when you see that. Uh, I tell you what, I, I was sick on Monday and Tuesday. If I had some of this, I probably wouldn't have missed Tuesday. I would have <laughs> been back right. at work yesterday. Uh, <laughs> but thank right. you very much. The chicken noodle soup is just fantastic. Throw some dumplings on there. You can find out all of the uh, recipes and so much more information at kansassoybeans.org or call the number on your screen. Charlene, thank you as always. Thank you.